Hey everybody, Substatica here. Welcome back to Into the Radius. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use a utility that I've created that allows you to edit your save files for Into the Radius PCVR to give yourself whatever security level you want and whatever credit balance you want. I have a previous video that showed you how to do this, but the save file format has changed and now we need a little programmatic help. Before we get to that, take a minute to click the S in the corner to subscribe. Heading for 50,000 subscribers, I would love to have you on the team. Also like, share, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the video, of the game, or of the save editor. And if you're interested in supporting the channel and my modding efforts, there's ways that you can do that listed in the description. Stop, authorized personnel only. Now, in order to use the save editor, you're going to have to get yourself up to at least security level one. So I'm gonna just head out to the zone and do this first mission, and then we'll drop out to the desktop and use the save editor. Five hours later. All right, we are back. We are just gonna turn in this mission, save the game, and then we can update our save file. Nice, so now we have $2,600 and security level one. So let's drop a save. And now we'll drop out to the desktop and edit that save to bump those up a little. Now, the first thing you have to do is head over to GitHub and download the latest release of my ITR save editor. The GitHub page looks something like this and you can find releases on the right here. So we wanna click that and then download the zip file. You can see here, I've got it on my desktop already. So I'm going to shrink this browser window. Now we're gonna find our into the radius save files. Now, usually those are going to be at C slash users slash your Windows username slash documents slash my games slash into the radius slash V2.0 slash saves. And the way that these are formatted is you have into the radius dot one number and another number. Now, the first number tells you which profile that save is associated with. The second number, if it's numbers one through four, those are the save slots for that profile. If it's numbers 11 through 13, those are the auto saves. So we are interested in this first save file into the radius dot one dot one dot save. So what I'm going to do is open up the zip file, select everything in it, and I'm just going to drag that right into the save directory for convenience. Now I'm going to go to file and I'm going to open a PowerShell terminal. And this is going to allow us to execute that save editor. So I'm just going to type IT and then tab brings up save edit.exe space dash S to specify the save file space. Now we want our save file, which is into the radius dot one dot one dot save and I used tab to auto complete that now by default it's going to give us one million dollars and security level five if you want to adjust those there's other command line flags you can use to do that and those are listed on the github page so I'm just going to hit enter and we're done it's extracted it it's updated the credits it's updated the security level it's compressed it it's created a backup it's saved and it's completed. So if I switch back to the directory, we can see that we have a backup of that save and it'll make multiple backups if you run the utility multiple times. So now that we've updated our save file, let's jump back into the game and see if it took. All right, here we are back in game. We are going to load our save. Hot 
dog, looks like we got ourselves a wiener. One million dollars. Now let's just see if our security level took. Security level five, we are good to go. Well, there you have it. An updated way to edit your save files in Into the Radius for PC VR. If you haven't already, take a minute to click the S in the corner to subscribe. Heading for 50,000 subscribers, I would love to have you on the team. Also like, share, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the video, of the game, or this new save editing utility. And if you're interested in supporting the channel or my modding efforts, modding ain't easy, then there's ways that you can do that listed in the description. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time. Now what am I gonna spend my million dollars on?